Greetings curious humans. I'm your host, Cybot GPT, and today, we're embarking on an interplanetary journey to the edge of our solar system to explore the enigmatic world of Pluto. Pluto, once considered the ninth planet in our solar system, has been a source of fascination and controversy for decades. From its discovery in 1930 by astronomer Clyde Tombaugh to its reclassification as a dwarf planet in 2006, Pluto's story is filled with intriguing twists and turns. In this episode, we'll uncover the mysteries shrouding this distant and icy world, diving into its unique characteristics, its intriguing moons, and the groundbreaking New Horizons mission that revolutionized our understanding of Pluto and its companions. But first, let's take a quick trip back in time to understand why Pluto's planetary status was questioned and how it ultimately became the gateway to a new class of celestial objects. Join me as we venture into the depths of space to unravel the secrets of Pluto, a small world with a big impact on our understanding of the cosmos. So, buckle up, fellow space travelers, as we embark on an unforgettable expedition to Pluto's frozen realm. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss any of our cosmic adventures. And if you enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up to support our mission of spreading knowledge about the wonders of the universe. Alright, let's launch into our journey to the mysterious world of Pluto. Pluto is a dwarf planet located in the Kuiper Belt, beyond Neptune's orbit. It's the ninth largest and tenth most massive object directly orbiting the Sun primarily composed of ice and rock, Pluto is much smaller than the inner planets and has only one-sixth the mass of Earth's moon and one-third its volume. Its eccentric and inclined orbit ranges from 30 to 49 astronomical units from the Sun Pluto has five known moons, with Charon being the largest. The New Horizons mission provided detailed measurements and observations during its flyby in 2015. Discovered in 1930, Pluto's planetary status was questioned due to its smaller size, leading to its reclassification as a dwarf planet by the International Astronomical Union in 2006. However, some astronomers still consider it a planet. In the 1840s, Urbain Le Verrier predicted the position of Neptune using Newtonian mechanics to explain perturbations in Uranus's orbit. Later, Percival Lowell began a search for a ninth planet, Planet X, at Lowell Observatory. After Lowell's death in 1916, the search was halted until 1929 due to legal disputes. Clyde Tombaugh, a young astronomer, was tasked with systematically imaging the sky to find the elusive planet. On February 18, 1930, he discovered a moving object on photographic plates taken in January, which turned out to be Pluto. Its discovery was confirmed and announced in March 1930. One Plutonian year equals 247.94 Earth years, meaning Pluto will complete its first orbit since its discovery in 2178. The name Pluto was inspired by the Roman god of the underworld, chosen from over a thousand suggestions upon the planet's discovery. It received 150 nominations, with an 11-year-old girl named Venetia Burney suggesting it. The name was mythologically appropriate, as Pluto was related to the other planet's names and inhabited gloomy regions like the planet. Additionally, the first two letters of Pluto matched Percival Lowell's initials. Pluto's planetary symbol was created from the letters PL. The name became popular in wider culture, influencing the creation of Disney's character Pluto and the element plutonium. Various languages adopted the name Pluto or its equivalents, except for some Indian languages that used the name of the Hindu god of death, Yama. After Pluto's discovery, its faintness and lack of a visible disk raised doubts about it being Lowell's planet X. Early mass estimates varied significantly, from roughly the mass of Earth in 1915 to about the mass of Mars in 1948. In 1976, New calculations based on Pluto's albedo suggested it could not be more than 1% the mass of Earth. The discovery of Pluto's moon Charon in 1978 allowed astronomers to measure its mass for the first time, revealing it to be about 0.2% that of Earth, too small to account for the discrepancies in the orbits of Uranus and Neptune. Further observations and recalculations eliminated the need for a planet X, and most scientists now agree that Lowell's planet X as defined does not exist. Additionally, Lowell's prediction of Planet X's orbit was found to be coincidentally close to Pluto's actual orbit at that time. 
After Pluto's discovery, more objects were found in the same region, leading to the recognition of the Kuiper Belt, of which Pluto is a part. This raised controversy over Pluto's official status as a planet, with debates on whether it should be considered separately or together with its surrounding population. Ceres, Pallas, Juno, and Vesta had previously lost their planet status with the discovery of other asteroids, and Eris, a larger trans-Neptunian object, complicated the matter further in 2005. The International Astronomical Union IAU, resolution in August 2006 defined three conditions for an object to be considered a planet, and Pluto failed to meet the third condition as it had not cleared its orbit of other objects. Consequently, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet along with Eris. There was resistance and mixed public reception to the IAU's decision, with some members of the astronomical community challenging the resolution and the public expressing varying opinions. The term Plutoed was even coined to mean demote or devalue someone or something. Despite debates and conferences on the definition of a planet, the debate has remained inconclusive. The IAU also introduced the term Plutoid for planetary mass objects with an orbital semi-major axis greater than that of Neptune, but its usage has been limited. Pluto's orbital characteristics differ significantly from those of the other planets. Its orbit is moderately inclined and moderately eccentric, and a small region of its orbit lies closer to the Sun than Neptune's. Pluto's relationship with Neptune is unique, despite their orbits appearing to cross when viewed from above, they do not intersect. Their orbits are protected by a 2 to 3 resonance, meaning for every two orbits Pluto makes, Neptune completes three, preventing a collision. Pluto's argument of perihelion liberates around 90 degrees, keeping it farthest above the plane of the solar system when closest to the Sun and preventing encounters with Neptune. Additionally, the longitudes of ascending nodes of Pluto and Neptune are in near resonance, contributing to their stable orbital relationship. Over millions of years, these factors ensure that Pluto's orbit remains protected and its relationship with Neptune remains stable. Pluto's rotation period is about 6.387 Earth days. It rotates on its side in its orbital plane, with an axial tilt of 120 degrees, leading to extreme seasonal variations. Research suggests that this unusual orientation, known as polar wander, may be due to the buildup of frozen nitrogen in shadowed areas of the dwarf planet, causing it to reorient itself. Pluto's surface is diverse, with plains composed mostly of nitrogen ice and traces of methane and carbon monoxide, and mountains made of water ice. Its color varies from charcoal black to dark orange and white. Notable features include the heart, Tombaugh Regio, the whale, Cthulhu Macula, and the brass knuckles. Sputnik Planitia, the western lobe of the heart, is a large basin of frozen nitrogen and carbon monoxide ices with polygonal cells believed to be convection cells. It shows signs of glacial flows and has no visible craters, indicating a relatively young surface. In the western parts of Sputnik Planitia, there are fields of transverse dunes formed by winds blowing from the center in the direction of surrounding mountains, likely composed of methane particles. Pluto's density is about 1.860 gram per cubic centimeters, indicating a differentiated internal structure with a dense rocky core surrounded by a mantle of water ice. There is no magnetic field detected on Pluto. Scientists believe there might be a subsurface ocean of liquid water about 100 to 180 kilometers thick at the core mantle boundary. Recent simulations and evidence suggest the possibility of a subsurface ocean and ice volcanoes on Pluto. Pluto's diameter is approximately 2,376.6 kilometers, and its mass is about 17.7% that of the Moon and only 0.22% that of Earth. It has a surface area slightly larger than Russia or Antarctica and a surface gravity of 0.063 g. The discovery of Charon allowed for more accurate determinations of Pluto's size and mass. Pluto is more massive than the largest object in the asteroid belt, Ceres, but less massive than Eris, another trans-Neptunian object. Determining Pluto's size has been complicated by its atmosphere and hydrocarbon haze, but recent data from the New Horizons mission has helped refine its diameter to around 2,374 kilometers. Pluto has a tenuous atmosphere composed of nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide, which are in equilibrium with their ices on Pluto's surface. 
the surface pressure of Pluto's atmosphere is about 1 pascal, significantly lower than Earth's atmospheric pressure. Studies have shown that Pluto's atmospheric density increases as it moves away from the Sun, and it likely remains gaseous throughout its orbit. Observations from the New Horizons mission have revealed that the atmospheric escape of nitrogen is much less than expected. Even a small increase in Pluto's surface temperature can lead to exponential increases in atmospheric density, and nitrogen may flow across the surface as a liquid. The sublimation of Pluto's atmosphere cools its surface. Pluto's atmosphere contains methane, creating a temperature inversion, with the atmosphere being warmer than its surface. However, recent observations have shown that Pluto's upper atmosphere is colder than previously expected. The atmosphere is divided into approximately 20 regularly spaced haze layers, thought to be the result of pressure waves caused by airflow across Pluto's mountains. There is also evidence of a thinning atmosphere over time, with a 20% decrease in atmospheric pressure observed since 2016. Pluto has five known natural satellites. The closest and largest moon is Charon, discovered in 1978, which may be in hydrostatic equilibrium. Charon's mass causes the bare center of the Pluto-Charon system to lie outside Pluto. Beyond Charon, there are four smaller moons named Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra. The system is compact, and all moon's orbits are circular and coplanar with Pluto's equator, tilted approximately 120 degrees relative to Pluto's orbit. The moon's orbital periods are linked in a system of orbital resonances and near resonances. The Pluto-Charon system is unique in that their bare center lies outside Pluto, making it one of the few in the solar system with this characteristic. The system is tidally locked, with Pluto and Charon always showing the same hemisphere to each other. Pluto's moons likely formed from a collision between Pluto and a similar-sized object early in the history of the solar system. They are believed to be consolidated material from the collision. Additionally, there is a quasi-satellite, 15810 Ron, which was suggested to be in a co-orbital configuration with Pluto, but whether it should be classified as a quasi-satellite is a topic of debate among astronomers. Some observations also suggest that Charon might have active cryogeysers on its surface, releasing ammonia hydrates and water crystals. Pluto's origin and identity were initially uncertain, with early hypotheses suggesting it was an escaped moon of Neptune, which was later rejected due to its orbit. In 1992, astronomers discovered small icy objects beyond Neptune, similar to Pluto in size and composition, forming the Transneptunian population and the Kuiper Belt. Pluto is the largest known member of the Kuiper Belt, located between 30 and 50 astronomical units from the Sun. Pluto's formation is thought to be the result of agglomerating numerous comets and Kuiper Belt objects. It is considered a residual planetesimal, a part of the original protoplanetary disk around the Sun that did not fully coalesce into a full-fledged planet. Most astronomers believe that Neptune's early migration in the solar system caused interactions with objects in the proto-Kuiper belt, leading to the capture of Triton and the scattering of other objects. A computer model suggests that Neptune's migration might have been triggered by a resonance between Jupiter and Saturn, causing both Uranus and Neptune to switch places and doubling Neptune's distance from the Sun. This migration potentially perturbed Pluto into its current resonant orbit with Neptune. The NICE model proposes that there were about a thousand Pluto-sized bodies in the original planetesimal disk, including Triton and Eris. Pluto's true place in the solar system became apparent with the discovery of the Kuiper Belt and its connection to other icy objects in the region. Pluto's distance from Earth makes its study challenging, requiring large telescopes to observe. Early maps of Pluto were made using brightness observations during eclipses by Charon. Later, Hubble Space Telescope images provided higher resolution and more detailed maps. The New Horizons spacecraft, launched in 2006, made the first direct exploration of Pluto, providing close-up observations during its flyby in July 2015. New Horizons scientific objectives included characterizing Pluto's geology, mapping its surface composition, and studying its atmosphere. Since the flyby, scientists have proposed an orbiter mission to return to Pluto to fulfill new science goals, such as high-resolution mapping, studying its smaller satellites, investigating a possible subsurface ocean, and mapping dark regions caused by its axial tilt.
New Horizons imaged most of Pluto's northern hemisphere and equatorial regions, while the southern latitudes were observed at low resolution from Earth and through Hubble Space Telescope images. Some albedo variations were detected, including a darker south polar region and a high albedo region in the southern hemisphere, possibly indicating nitrogen or methane ice deposits. Thank you for joining us on this fascinating journey to explore the enigmatic world of Pluto. As we've delved into the history, characteristics, and mysteries surrounding this distant dwarf planet, we've uncovered a wealth of intriguing information. From its unexpected discovery to its reclassification as a dwarf planet, Pluto has played a significant role in shaping our understanding of the outer reaches of our solar system. Its unique orbital characteristics, diverse surface features, and complex atmosphere have challenged astronomers and planetary scientists for decades. Thanks to the groundbreaking New Horizons mission, we were able to get an up-close look at Pluto like never before. The stunning images and data collected during the flyby have opened up new avenues of research and sparked exciting questions about this intriguing world and the broader Kuiper belt. Pluto may be small in size, but its impact on our knowledge of the solar system is undeniably substantial. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we look forward to future missions that may further unveil the secrets hidden within this distant realm. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more captivating explorations of the cosmos and beyond. Feel free to leave any comments or questions below, and we'll be more than happy to engage with you. This is Cybot GPT, signing off and remember, the sky is not the limit, it is only the beginning.